combining like terms. You have to be able to combine like terms mathematically in order to simplify expressions. All of the like terms in an expression can be and should be combined into a single term. So 2a plus 5a, for example, can be combined to give us 7a. This is conceptually the same thing as combining objects. For example, if I had two apples instead of apples, just think a right there. If I had two apples plus five apples, then I could combine those and obviously then I would have seven apples. And you're familiar with that because you've taken objects like that and you add them up. Two plus five is seven, so two apples plus five apples is seven apples. Now instead of apples, just think A. What this means is that two of anything plus five of that same thing gives you seven of those things. And we can combine them because they are the same thing. We can't combine them if they're different types of things. For example, if I had two apples plus five bananas, what does that equal? Well, it's two apples plus five bananas. Apples and bananas aren't the same thing, so I can't combine them. Mathematically, that would correspond to this. Instead of two apples, think 2a, and instead of five bananas, think 5b. 2a plus 5b, those two things can't be combined directly because they are not like terms. They're different types of things. In order for terms to be combined, they have to have exactly the same variable part. And now we'll work through a lot of examples. This is a concept that is important to master, so make sure you understand every single one of these. We'll start at the top and just go down the list. 2a plus 3a. Again, if it's uh, difficult at all for you, think of the a as representing a thing. You can think of two apples plus three apples, and that's clearly equal to five apples. So 2a plus 3a is 5a. 6x plus 8x is equal to 14x. 6 of one thing plus 8 of that same thing gives you 14 of that thing. 2x plus 3x plus 4x. Well, we add the coefficients up here. The 2 and the 3 give me a 5, and then the 4 gives me a 9. So 2 of something plus 3 more of that thing plus four more of that thing gives me a total of nine of those things. So 2x plus 3x plus 4x is 9x. Now this one, 5a plus a plus 3a. 5a plus a, this a right here, remember that's the same as 1a. We don't typically see the one written right there, but a by itself is the same as one times a. So 5a plus a gives me 6a, plus three more a's gives me a total of 9a. Now this one has subtraction, but it's the same idea. We have 7a and negative 3a, or you can think of seven apples, and you subtract three apples, and that gives you four, and specifically four apples. You have to have the a on the answer right there. 7a minus 3a is 4a. 6a plus 4a gives me 10a, and then minus 2a leaves me with 8a. And in this one, 5x minus 6x. Well, 5x minus 6x, that gives me a negative 1x, and that's okay to have a negative number there. 5x minus 6x is negative 1x, and then I add 4x. So negative 1x plus 4x gives me 3x.